What's going on YouTubers? It's your boy Killer NC. And today we're going to do the unboxing of the hard drive that I'm going to be putting into my gaming rig. This is a Toshiba 4TB desktop hard drive. Alright, a little bit of info before we get started. This is a 4TB Cero ATA 3.0 uh, SATA. It's 7200 RPM. 128 megabyte cache, low power consumption with adaptive power modes, internal shock sensor and ramp loading technology to help protect your drive. All right, so let's see what's on the box. All right, desktop internal hard drive, more capacity to expand storage. Like I said, this is a four terabyte. Desktop 3.5 SATA, six gigabyte per second. I have that on my uh, motherboard, so that'll work fine. Let's see what we have on the side. Desktop internal hard drive, intelligent SATA interface, perpendicular magnetic recording technology, tunnel magneto resistive recording head technology, native command queuing support is compatible with Windows 8.1, which is what we're going to be loading into our system. Windows 8, Windows 7, uh, Mac, OS X, and Linux. System requirements, SATA interface, done. Content, three and a half desktop internal hard drive and has a three year standard limited warranty. So let's go ahead and open it. Nice packaging. Give them that. Nice little anti static bag. And here we have it the Toshiba 4 terabyte hard drive. So, what else is in here? We have warranty stuff. You guys are interested in all that reading. So let's go ahead and install it into our rig. As always, excuse the mess with the wires. I am close to have messing with them and getting them all sorted out. I'm doing a lot of cable management. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the bottom tray for this. And my case actually has the locks already built in on it for the sides. So we'll go ahead and just put her in like that. All right, it's that easy. Okay, so we'll set it right back in there. Connect the uh, the power which we have in here, right here from the SSD. So we'll go ahead and connect this bad boy in there, and then connect the other SATA. All right. This one did not bring a SATA cable, so keep that in mind when purchasing it. You are going to need one. Let's go ahead and put this in. All right, guys, so sorry about that. I didn't realize that my battery had actually died in my camera. Um, but you guys caught pretty much of what I was doing, just connecting the SATA cables uh, to the back of the hard drive and then to the motherboard. Um, so I have them all, all connected right there, all three of them, SSD. Regular hard drive and my DVD ROM. That's what I'm also going to be using to load my Windows on there. Um, I can do it with a flash drive, but that's to me is easier. Just pop a disk in and I have it. So 
All right, guys, so that wraps up the unboxing and installation of the Toshiba 4TB desktop internal hard drive. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys are going to have to see this one. This is going to be my dual monitors. I don't want to say anything else. I'll just say that they're Asus and they're big. So stay tuned for that one. See you guys in the next one. Peace!